where you can insert your information, insert your email, password, and mark the I agree to the terms of Binance. The majority do not read them. If you have some time later on, do so. After that, you will be requested to match a puzzle piece to its location. It's a CAPTCHA. Just scroll it over and leave it there. There you have it. You will receive a Binance verification email on your email account. Go and click on it and your account will be activated. The link will bring you back to Binance. Now click login, complete the annoying CAPTCHA and you're in. You will see a pop-up window which will ask you to set up your 2FA for your account. It is extremely important that you set it up. Click on the Google authentication or the SMS authorization, which one is more convenient for you. For me personally, I prefer the Google authentication method. Click on it and then you will be prompted to enable Google authentication in this case. Download the application from Google Play or Apple Store if you don't have it and then scan your barcode. Also, take a picture of it, write the code down, print it, keep it safe because if you lose that, you will lose access to your account and it will take too long to get it back. Once you do, you will be given a six digit number which changes every 30 seconds. Insert the number and your password on the right side and click Enable 2FA. Excellent, now your account is secure. Let's take a look on your profile dashboard. We can change our password, enable SMS authentication, and we can see our recent login history. One thing that I love about Binance is that you can have a withdrawal limit up to two Bitcoin without even entering any information. Unlike Bittrex, you can use the account right away and two Bitcoin per day it is a withdrawal limit that the majority of people can live with it, including myself. You also have the option to submit additional documents to verify your account and get up to a 100 Bitcoin withdrawal limit per day. Let's see what other options we have here. We have a quick link to open orders, order history and deposit funds. Also, they offer a news section that we can see the latest announcement of new coins getting listed in Binance and latest news. It's useful. Useful indeed. Binance also has a referral link as well, something that Bitrix does not. You can invite your friends and get 50% commission from their trades. Bitrix keeps the whole pie, at least they keep only 50% for themselves. I count that as a plus. Now that we looked around, let's get to the exchange platform. There are two options, basic and advanced. Let's start with basic. If you click on it, it will be randomly selected to be Binance versus Bitcoin and the exchange platform. We can see the candlesticks, the last price, the 24 hour chains, high, low and 24 hour volume. On the left side we have the sell and buy orders and on the bottom we can set buy limits or sell limits. It's pretty simple, it also has a percentage of how much Bitcoin you want to allocate on your transfer which is very useful for a day trading. If you click 25% for example it will allocate only 25% of your total Bitcoin to the trade. Now let's take a look on the advanced version. 